just the day before Halloween and things are getting very, very spooky in the sense of Megan Stallion is issuing out lawsuits like she's giving out Halloween candy. According to Milagro, she says that I've been informed that I've been sued by Alex Spiro on behalf of his client, Megan Thee Stallion. We are filing a civil action against you concerning your campaign of harassment and cyberbullying and the false comments you made regarding Miss Pete. The plaintiff is aware of your conspiratorial with Mr. Peterson and knows you're a paid surrogate of Mr. Peterson. Of course, we'll chat about it. They threw in the tape too. And this article from TMZ claims that Megan Thee Stallion is suing the blogger for deep fake porn, which we'll get into that in a minute, claiming she's posting Tory Lane's misinformation, claiming she's been routinely posting lies about her, saying while working as a mouthpiece for Lane's to promote a false narrative about shooting her. And the TMZ article cites two things that I'm guessing is part of the lawsuit aimed at Milagro. Among the untrue content Milagro has posted, according to Meg at least, is a totally artificial video that the stallion's lawyers claims shows the star engaged in sexual acts. They say the video has caused Megan severe emotional distress and reputational harm. Megan's team says Milagro has also claimed Megan the stallion has a severe drinking problem and has questioned her mental competency and called her an angry black woman. As it relates to Tory, Megan's lawyers claim Cooper has promoted false claims about the evidence in the case, including saying that the firearm which Tory shot Megan had gone missing. Megan's team says it's still in the custody of the LAPD. The lawsuit also includes posts the ex Milagro allegedly live tweeted from Lange's trial, falsely claiming Meg's friend. Kelsey Harris admitted she lied to prosecutors when she told them she saw Lane's pull a gun on Meg. So in summary, Megan is suing Milagro for an altered sexual depiction, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and invasion of privacy, and false light. She's also asking for an injunctive relief to stop Milagro cyber stalking. And a quote from Megan reads, it's time to hold bloggers accountable for years of harassment, cyberbullying, and the publication of misinformation about my personal and professional life. I've endured countless attacks on my character based on false narratives from social media bloggers misrepresenting themselves as journalists. Adding it's unacceptable behavior and these individuals need to understand there will be repercussions for recklessly posting lies and defamatory falsehoods. And TMZ claims that they reached out to Miss Cooper, but according to Milagro herself, she says, no the fuck y'all didn't, are y'all okay? Now Milagro did, at least from what I remember, had retweeted the AI imagery of Megan Thee Stallion, but even she said that, yo, this ain't real, this is obviously fake and it's disgusting she even called it out but people didn't give her credit or props for calling the shit out for what it was it would have been different if she was sharing it or trying to spread like it was true but she was basically saying no i don't think this is true and this is wrong for what she's doing this is an invasion of privacy and for the record people was weirdly believing that shit was true like you got to be one weird individual to think that that was really Megan. Now, granted, Milagro has admitted in the past to having a bias towards Tory, and since then she's been championing for his release ever since he was found guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Now, if you ask me, do I think that she's on Tory's payroll? Absolutely not. Uh, do I think her bias is a little bit questionable as to why people could believe her to be on the payroll? Sort of. But if anything, some of the fans that watch Milagro could be the more hostile representation of the audience and just be one of them weirdo fans who just wants to go after Megan and harass her and do all types of weird shit. That's something that Milagro doesn't promote or condone. Now, I do understand the reasoning behind the lawsuit because Megan has had a history with people like academics where it was i think recently it's a few months back he was saying comments like oh megan the stallion looks like she gives some good head and that went viral got people talking for a while and even before then he went on this whole spiel and tirade months ago about her calling her drunk saying she's a cokehead all the other stuff and those are allegations that we don't know to be factually true so if anything it could be viewed as a bunch of hearsay and i have seen people try to compare milagro to tasha k milagro is not tasha k tasha k is willing to send all her money directly to carter b as we speak and in general there are certain youtubers that would present themselves as bloggers to try to harass their way to get an interview i'm looking at somebody like jason lee 
who, in my opinion, I've thought this ever since he tried to come at Beyonce sideways, threatening to reveal any damning information if he didn't get a Kelly Rowland interview, which since at the time of this recording, he has not gotten. Nor has he tried to share that information to the public because he probably would know what would happen. He would get fired from his job and he would lose everything that he's built up to this point. And the only reason why I think he said some of the stuff he said about Megan months ago, and I've said it before back then, is that it's because he was denied an interview privately by Megan and he probably took offense to it. So therefore he gets emotional, goes on a tirade saying, Hey guys, she's a drunk. She's this, she's that just because he didn't get what he wants. And of course there's the whole nosy whole situation where she tried to come at Nicki Minaj sideways. That, that was literally the definition of defamation coming out the side of her neck, talking crazy, making personal attacks about Nicki Minaj. Like it was one of them things that if, she was in person with Nikki. She wouldn't have repeated half the shit she said. And people like Nosy Ho, I really don't think deserves a platform at all. Now that's something I just wanted to point out myself because those instances I feel like are quite a bit more severe than what is going on right now with Milagro. I think that this there could be a possibility this gets thrown out of court and it really inadvertently goes nowhere. And if it does go somewhere where let's say Milagro's videos or tweets uh talking about megan just goes away completely it could set a dangerous precedent for people who make youtube videos or independent journalists who want to get the truth out there or you know get their opinions out there that it could come off as some type of censorship and milagro is a smart woman she's not gonna come online and just talk crazy about megan knowing that she can lose it all but with that being said y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below till next time i'll see you on the next video Peace.